Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Brilliant Bankers. So this channel is all about uh, the online certification courses which has been um, provided by Indian Institute of Banking and Finance. So I have uploaded two videos, uh, so please check that. First video is about the introduction, mm, means just uh, what is all about this online courses and I've started with one of the course that is prevention of cyber crimes and fraud management please do watch that video for their continuity there um, I've started with uh, introduction of cyber crimes and uh, what is cyber crime what are the different types of cyber crimes kinds of cyber crimes and we were discussing up to virus attack okay hope you like my video please if you like my video please uh, like subscribe and share for your friends okay so uh, in today's video we'll start the rest of the uh, kinds of uh, cyber crimes so let's get started with uh, software piracy so software piracy is that it is an unauthorized copying or distribution of copyrighted software so this this can be done by uh, copying or downloading sharing selling or installing multiple copies of software into a personal or a work computers. So if you make uh, more copies of the software or install the software more times uh, than the license permits or upload a software um, code or to, to a website so that others can download and use it. So sharing software license codes or activation keys or in some cases share your user ID and password for a web-based uh, software applications. So you are so in this case you are pirating the software and breaking the law. So this uh, um, kinds uh, the software uh, piracy includes a very uh, very uh, variety of kinds of crimes like including uh, copyright infringement, this and trademark violations, theft of computer as I said. So this all this is being protected by all this piracy policy is being protected by ICANN domains dispute resolution policy. So what is this IANN? This is in, uh, a full form of IANN is it Internet Cooperation for Assigned Names and Numbers. So this what uh, cyber scotters what the cyber scotters do they use the same uh, na identical name which is very popular to the service provider's name they use the same name and which is very popular and branded name so um, for for their uh, benefit so this is what called software piracy next is salami attack so this salami attack is that um that's stealing a small amount of money from the customer so for example uh, if an, a bank employee inserting a some program into the server's machine and he's trying to uh, steal a, so a small amount of money from each of the customer then the customer also will not know if the uh, uh, the amount of money because it is a very small amount of money right so he will not notice that if a small am amount of money is being steal so for uh, but the bank employee can make a sizable amount of money every month so he's stealing a small small for example say one rupee two rupee like that and he's going on stealing uh, money from each of the customer then he can make more amount of money so this is what called salami attack next is phishing phishing is that it is a type of scam uh, through digital communication so to obtain uh, some uh, personal information like uh, usernames, passwords, credit card details, uh, like any other confidential information. This is uh, phishing is uh, like exactly same like phishing. Phishing is F-I-S-H-I-N-G, phishing. Like phishing in lake, but instead of trying to capture the fish, the fishers attempt to steal your um, personal information. Okay, so this is what called phishing. So it is uh, trying to... Um, get your all your informations private informations and for your ident uh, for the identity and this is used for the identity theft so this is phishing okay next is sale of illegal articles sale of illegal articles is that selling like uh, narcotics weapons or any other uh, wildlife uh, etc sale uh, this 
this is all include the cyber crime so regarding this posting the information on the website and uh, calling for the auction uh, and bulleting both are simply used by, uh, by using this uh, email communication so through the email communication they send the uh, informations or send any post regarding the sale of these uh, narcotics weapons and wildlife etc are called sale of illegal articles next is online gambling online gambling is that you know about this hawala transaction and money laundering so this is what um, there are millions of websites hosting on servers abroad for their online ga uh, gambling so this is um, online gambling next is email spoofing email spoofing is that it is uh, that appears to originate from an original source but actually it will be from the another song so, so when you see the um, logo or when you see the account name you feel like it is from the original source but it will be the uh, a fake source so this is what called for their monet, uh, monetary monetary uh, uh, for the monetary gains they use this email spoofing next is cyber defamation cyber defamation is that you're spoiling the goodwill of your uh, uh, a person about a person or a company name spoiling their goodwills by you sending some messages or emails or posting the information about a uh, fake information about them is uh, called cyber defamation next is forgery forgery is that printing uh, fake documents like uh, currency notes postage uh, say revenue stamps or mark sheets is uh, for their counterfeit uh, use uh, used to for the forge counterfeit uh, is called forgery next is email bombing email bombing is that it refers to sending large amount of just uh, crash the computer we are sending the large amount of many uh, emails for the victim's account and for uh, uh, crashing so if you get a large amount of fake uh, information uh, messages coming on coming on coming on then your uh, mobile or your system get hacked um, sorry it gets stuck right it get hanged so this is for called email bombing next is data diddling data diddling is that uh, it involves changing uh, data prior or you know, during input of the computer. So as it given in this, this kind of attack involves altering raw data just before it is processed by a computer and then changing it back after the processing is completed. So in, um, in, other, uh, in other words, like information is changed from the way it should be entered by a person typing in the data and uh, a virus that changes the data. Then the programmer of the data or the application or anyone else uh, involved in this process having information stored in the computer file. So next is internet time theft. Internet time theft is that using uh, the internet has uh, paid by another person, unauthorized uh, using uh, unauthorized access of internet time paid by another person. We are using um, unauthorized uh, internet has, which is paid by another person. Next is theft of computer computer system is that uh, stealing some computer parts a computer stealing some com uh, computer or a computer parts of peripheral attached to the computer next is physically damaging a uh, computer system so this is physically as it named refers uh, physically damaging the computer peripherals next is breach of privacy and confidentiality so um, uh, the, we used to give so many details like name, age, all these things. You know, when we are up, uh, downloading any app or uh, we are filling some accounts or something in the internet, we give us a, some amount of information like name, age, phone number, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there is some privacy policy that uh, it is how much or when, uh, what is the extent of sharing the personal data to others. So violating this rules or this contract is called breach of privacy so what is a data breach so data breach is an in, uh, involves that unauthorized or illegal viewing or access or retrieval of data by an individual okay it is a type of security uh, breach uh, specifically designed to steal and uh, publish data to an unsecured or illegal location so here uh, Next is confidentiality. Confidentiality means 
non disclosure or of information to unauthorized or unwanted person so in uh, we are selling the data to an unwanted person without the permission of the um, uh, uh, the a victim or a, a, a particular person we are selling their information to others which who is uh, for the unwanted person okay so this is breach of privacy and confidentiality next is data diddling as i uh, this i explained you earlier that is uh, just data free or or during the input changing the data free or or during the input of the computer next is e-commerce and investment frauds is that um uh, for example you may see uh, some um, uh, sale in um, uh, your website you you may see some advertisement of some a sale of some product in your website so you may uh, this includes that um, you re, you send money for that if you want you may uh, wish to purchase that particular product and you send the money but that particular product will not be delivered to you so this is that sale uh, through the internet auction site or the non delivery of the products purchased through the internet so the per particular product will not be delivered to you so this kind of uh, frauds is called e commerce and uh, investment frauds next is cyber terrorism cyber terrorism is mainly targeted for the military installations like um, their um, air traffic power plants air traffic control uh, banks trail traffic control telecommunication networks are the most likely targets then others like police medical fire and rescue system etc so this cyber terrorism is very attractive and most popular in in recent days so it is also cheaper also than traditional uh, this is more uh, cheaper than the traditional terrorist methods so this cyber terrorism has a potential to affect directly a large number of people and the list of offense uh, given above is not exhaustive and would also include any other types of offenses that would be committed through the computer or against the computer in the future so this is all about the types and kinds of cyber crimes so in today's video we have completed about the types and kinds of um, cyber crimes for the next video we will be seeing about cyber we will be seeing about the cyber laws so um, if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching